Recently, a lot of people have sent me this TikTok of a bunch of people with Tesla Autopilot driving down the highway without an actual person in the driver's seat. Now, obviously that's really dangerous, but today we're going to be safely working out exactly how they did that. By doing various different tests, like taking my seatbelt off and trying to climb out of the seat, etc. We're also sponsored by Squarespace, the best platform for building a website. Let's get on with the video. So the very first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn on traffic aware cruise control. So this means that I can take my feet off the pedals, but I'm still the one in control of the wheel so it's not full autopilot but what i'm going to do is i'm just going to reduce our speed down to 30 miles an hour there's no cars or anything anywhere near and i'm just going to unplug my seatbelt and see how the car reacts cruise control speed reduced driver's seat belt is unbuckled and you can see the car has taken us to a complete stop and it is kicking off at us. So now I'll plug the seatbelt back in and it says press accelerator pedal to resume cruise control so if i just tap the accelerator pedal oh it's setting us off again and it's gonna take us back up to the 30 miles an hour that I've set. So that's uh, that was really safe, that was perfect. That's exactly what I would want it to do. We're gonna quickly get onto the road and we're gonna repeat the test just to see if it performs exactly the same when we're on full autopilot as opposed to just cruise control. All right, full autopilot. And I'm just gonna reduce our speed down and now I'm gonna unbuckle. Oh, cruise Woo! control speed reduced. And it is taking us to a stop. It's given us all the beeps, it's put the hazards on and everything. So let me just plug back in. And it's still kicking off. Auto steer is aborting. God, that, there's so many beeps, chill out. Uh, <laughs> that was a bit much, wasn't it? Yeah, so that was even more intense than the cruise control, which is completely valid. I think that's perfect. That's that's exactly how you'd want it. You would not you don't want it to be too relaxed. I'd like to try that again. But this time, instead of unbuckling my seatbelt, I think what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna lift my ass off the seat. Because obviously the car, like a lot of cars these days, it can sense when your ass is on the seat or not. And it does shout at you. Right, I can turn autopilot on. There we go, autopilot's on. I'm just gonna reduce the speed down because it wants to go 60 miles an hour here, which is a bit much if I'm honest. All right, let's go down to 15 miles an hour. That gives us plenty of time. So I'm not doing anything. Seatbelt's still on, but ass is now off the seat. So it's not telling us to do anything. It seems completely fine with that. So I think this suggests how those very cool dudes could get away with what they did on uh, on that TikTok. Because I'm assuming what they did was they plugged the seatbelt in behind them and then they just climbed out the driver's seat. Next test we're gonna do, we're gonna open our door, see what happens. But before we do, guys, we are very close or have recently just passed 300,000 subscribers. So please do subscribe if you enjoy these videos because we do upload them every single week. All right, I'm gonna try just for cruise control just because it's a little easier to set up. And I'm just gonna go at 11 miles an hour. And now, okay, so it's obviously locked. Now, actually, if you look at the little lock sign, you can see that it is actually set to unlocked. So now it says it's locked, apparently. Let me try the door again. Oh, so that's what triggers that. When I try to unlock the door, it changes the symbol to the unlocked version, but I still can't actually unlock the door. Can you please try and unlock one of your doors, Becky, just to yeah, see if it's the same for everyone? Nothing. Yeah, you also can. I'll try the back seat. Go on, try the back seat. Uh, do you know what I don't think I, I can get to the back seat? <laughs> That's no, probably a good job because I probably couldn't close it again. All right, well. Excuse, <laughs> yeah, excuse like, you, Ricky. It's my foot. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, what I'll do is I'll uh, I'll just abort this and I'll just take over. So I'm, I'm in full control of the car again. Can I unlock now? No, I can't. So I think it might be based on speed, but I can't quite remember. So let's just slow down to like below five miles an hour. And then can I unlock the door? No, I can't. Right, so let's come to a complete stop and then will it let us unlock the door? It will. So if I'm traveling at one mile an hour, can I unlock the door? I can't. Basically, it wants you to be completely stopped. It is not having any of it. So once again, the car proving to be very, very safe. It's not taking any risks at all. We can open our doors willy nilly in the Citroen, whether we're going at one mile an hour or 70 miles an hour. Whereas the Tesla, once again, not taking any chances, which is really nice to see. Okay, next test. I think I know exactly what's gonna happen here, but it's worth trying it anyway. What we're gonna do is we're gonna press this, which opens our front boot. So you have to actually get out and whack it open, but it's unlocked it basically. So it's shouting at me, front trunk unlatched. Proceed with caution. Please close the front trunk before driving. So we're gonna go very, very slowly and we're gonna just click ignore and continue to drive because we make the rules around here. But I reckon no way is it gonna let me go into cruise control or autopilot or anything like that. So let's find out. Cruise control unavailable. Yeah, exactly what I thought was gonna happen. No funny business there. It's not letting anything. Look at that. It looks like, it looks like a, 
It reminds me of a dolphin laughing. Is that just me? Do you see a dolphin laughing? Oh, I do now. Good. Like, <laughs> like upside down. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's it's from the, mm. the way. Cool. <laughs> All right. Now I need to go close my frunk. No problem. No point trying it with the boot, because we know exactly what's going to happen. But I will try, just because, you know, why not? I will open the door, and then I'll just start driving. Because I've never driven with the door open like this. So we've got all the same warnings. What we're going to do is we're just going to try and turn on cruise control. Cruise control unavailable. Yeah, it is not having any of it. So autopilot cruise control is not possible when this door's open. Interestingly though, can you open your door if my door's already open, Becky? Let's find out. Nope. No, you can't. Okay, and then if I close this and then attempt to open it, yeah. They are, they are being very safe. This is perfect so far. But before we continue, this video is sponsored by Squarespace. Squarespace is the perfect website builder for anything that you could ever possibly need. Maybe you want to set up an online photography shop. Maybe you want to promote your Italian restaurant. Perhaps you want to start selling honey and you have a cool beekeeping outfit. Whatever you need, Squarespace has you covered. They've got loads of pretty templates. You can find exactly what you need. You can take a look at detailed analytics once the website goes live and loads of other stuff. So head to squarespace.com slash Jack Welsh. And if you use code Jack Welsh, you'll get an extra 10% off your very first purchase purchase of a domain name. Thank you Squarespace very much once again for sponsoring this video. So I think I want to show off just everything that makes autopilot a bot. So what we're going to do is uh, currently it just can't handle junctions or roundabouts at all. So I'm going to turn autopilot on. I'm going to reduce our speed very, very much all the way down to like as low as we can possibly go. And then I just want to show what happens when we actually approach this junction. Probably reduced my speed a bit too quick there. So let's go back up to 16. Right, you can see the giveaway. So now I'm just going to reduce the speed to maybe five miles an hour so that we can approach it really, really slow. And we have plenty of time to safely take over before we actually dip out onto the road so you can see it's still going great right now but then where is it going to take us keep in mind there we go before we've even reached it it's completely aborted you can see the wheel still turning that looks really weird and then all i need to do is press this and uh, we can continue ourselves that looks so weird the way the wheel just kept turning around really really slowly but it aborted before we were at the junction line so we weren't touching the connecting road at all so once again that was really really safe and i'm really impressed and it basically does the exact same thing at roundabouts as well so i think it's time we get our ass out this seat once again and we try and recreate that tiktok with those very cool dudes because if i could be just one percent as cool as those people were i will be very happy all right final test i'm very excited and to mix things up becky is no longer in the vehicle look at that <laughs> Come on around this side, Becky, so we can chat. Hi, Becky. Hey. All right, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to take my seatbelt off. I'm going to put the car into park, and then I'm going to put my seatbelt back on behind me. Like that. So now back into drive. The car thinks everything's normal, and you can see that I can start driving, and it's not shouting at me or anything. Now, Becky, I have to warn you that the car will only go into cruise control if we're going 10 miles an hour, so <laughs> tap off your rate of run. <laughs> so I'm going to pick up a bit of speed. Oh, my God. <laughs> Okay, so we're now going two miles an hour in cruise control. My feet aren't touching the pedals. There are no cars anywhere. So let's attempt to get into the passenger seat. Okay, here we go. And it's as simple as that. It's literally <laughs> just warning me that I don't have my seatbelt on in the passenger seat. So this is how the cool TikTok boys achieved their video. But obviously to do such a thing, oh, bloody <laughs> So obviously it made for a very cool video and I'm sure eventually there will be the technology and the laws available to actually do that for real. But at this stage, that is very dangerous and not something I recommend. There is a big difference between us going two miles an hour in a place with no traffic and those people being on a 70 mile an hour highway surrounded by other cars. Very dangerous. But yeah, hopefully you found that interesting. Thank you so much Squarespace for sponsoring once again. Thank you for watching. Make sure to subscribe if you have not already and I will see you later.